are all doing well and are ready for this yoga session with me. I am Upasana Khosla and I welcome you to Sri Anand Yoga Dham. Today's session is a more progressive practice. As we progress from half plow to the plow pose or halasana, we shall learn how to flow in a yoga sequence from a beginner's asana to an advanced asana. Those who have just joined in and would like to learn ardhalasana or the half plow may click on the link given in the description. The practice of half plow with variations is essential before the plow pose to tone and strengthen your legs and for stability of movements in a controlled manner. It also helps develop a mind-body connect while practicing a yoga asana. Along with half plow, I would advise that you practice the wind release posture with single legs and with both legs. This will make you feel lighter by removing excess wind from your stomach and ensure that your spine, hip joints, back, stomach muscles and arms are flexible enough for the plow pose. The plow pose is as interesting as it sounds and is to be practiced in stages. It is an inverted asana. This increases blood flow to your head. Just as a farmer uses the plough to enrich his land, in the same manner, the plough pose enriches your body to help you keep away from lifestyle diseases like diabetes, blood pressure and so many more benefits which I will mention further in the video. Those of you who are suffering from heart problem, blood pressure and who have just been operated or have a spinal injury, Please do not attempt this asana. Before advancing to the plow pose or halasan, first relax completely in shavasan for a few minutes. Removing any physical or mental stress, your mind and body in sync through the entire practice. Relaxing in the corpse pose will help you remove strain and stiffness in your body so that you are able to get in the final plow pose effortlessly. I have added link to the corpse pose in the description. Lie on your mat, feet are one and a half feet apart, hands relaxed besides your body, palms facing above. Gently close your eyes. Begin to feel the luxury of your spine touching the floor. Mmm, this feels good. Allow this comforting touch spread to your entire body. Taking yourself away from your daily chaos, bring your focus to your breaths. One by one, allowing thoughts move away from your mind. Focus and deep breathe as you ease completely. Relax your feet, calves, knees, thighs, hips, back, your arms, your fingers. Relax your shoulders, the backside of your neck. Feel the gentle touch of your head on the mat. By doing this, you are restoring energy in your legs, arms, buttocks, shoulders, neck and head which are important in the plow pose. This physical and mental relaxation will help you stay in control of your movements throughout the practice. Once you feel you are ready, gently bring your feet together, hands besides your body, palms facing the floor. Gain energy by inhaling deeply 
and taking in fresh oxygen as you slowly raise your legs to 90 degrees. You are now at half plow pose. Your stomach and lungs are filled with oxygen. Hold here for a few breaths. You can release the accumulated carbon dioxide by taking a few normal breaths. As you progress to the next step, exhale fully to create space in your body. Gently lift your hips to raise your legs higher with your palms supporting your hips by placing your palms on either side of your hips. Your body weight is more on your hands. Your legs are in alignment with your forehead. Do not move your head right to left to prevent injury. Initially, hold steadily for about 3 seconds. This is the first step towards the inverted posture. From here, slowly move your palms to either side of your lower back, raising your legs higher, aligning them in a straight line with your upper body. Your body weight has now shifted from your hands to your shoulders which is why it is known as the shoulder stand pose. Breathe normally as you maintain the shoulder stand, trying to balance your body in the inverted pose. Now lower your legs behind your head in a controlled manner to gently touch your feet on the floor behind your head as you take support by placing your arms on the floor. Initially, you may not be able to bring your feet to touch the mat behind you. Allow gradual progression of movement with practice. As you get comfortable in the posture, bring your hands to the top of your head, interlacing your fingers, place your palms on top of your head. Maintain this posture for 5 breath counts. You are in Halasan or the Plow Pose. Wow! Bravo! Keep your neck in straight alignment with your spine. And during the asan, do not turn your neck right or left. In the final pose, your chin touches the base of your neck, which is a chin lock, adding to the many benefits of this advanced asan given at the end of the video. To release from the plow pose, slowly open the interlock of your palms and reposition your hands alongside your body, palms facing down. By exerting pressure on your palms, Slowly bring your upper body back to position in a controlled manner as you bring your legs back on the mat. Relax and feel the after effects of the asana. I hope you have liked and followed this intense session. There are many benefits to the plow pose. It tones and strengthens your shoulders, arms, legs and back muscles. Removes neck, shoulder and back stiffness. Increases spine flexibility and strength. Boosts blood circulation and improves blood pressure. Fights aging and reduces wrinkles. Improves skin, eyesight and reduces hair fall calms the nervous system, lowers blood sugar levels and is excellent for diabetes, stimulates abdominal organs and helps digestion, stimulates the third eye and sahasra chakras and increases concentration. The chin lock activates thyroid and parathyroid glands, balances hormones helping menstrual problems. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification button.